I think what was tricky for Spydercam was to find a stabilized head that is compact, that is easy to mount, where you don't need a master degree of setting it up. I think the Spydercam with the Newton head gives a lot of the productions benefit of like having camera angles that other cameras won't get. And especially for the viewers at home, it's quite nice to give them this special, unique angles that they won't even get if they would be at the venue themselves. My name is Moz and I have been working for Spydercam now for 10 years. The Newton head gives us a lot of new possibilities now. Before the Newton head, um, there have been like areas in our flight space that we tried to avoid where we knew it will be difficult, especially like long lens shots, fully zoomed in, that was kind of tricky for us. And nowadays with the Newton, all those problems are more or less solved because we know we will deliver a rock steady picture and it doesn't really matter where we are and what we're doing because the Newton takes care of all that. My name is Stefan Ahrens, I'm a remote operator and I worked uh, for 30 years. The Newton head and the controller is a wonderful tool. You can concentrate to your pictures, not to the technique. In 2014, ESL and Spidercam introduced the first production using that system on a classic football pitch. Since then, we moved more and more towards the direction actually designing stages and production workflows around Spidercam. And now with the new Newton head, we're even able in augmented reality to fly by even closer and more precise. In Berlin, with a recent event, we could fly through an augmented reality car. We had elements like precisely by the millimeter placed on actual physical builds and could like super fast pace you wiggle around. It was an amazing experience. 